Hi, this is the 1000 Scenes Project. I'm Morgan, and improviser number 229 of 1000 is Chris Musto. Hi, Chris. Hi, how are you? I'm doing well, thanks. I uh, hope you're doing well. Thank you so much for doing this. Thanks for having me. I'm doing pretty good. I'm just getting over right. our cold, so hopefully I sound okay. Oh, there it is. Well, maybe we'll be able to use that uh, to inform our scene in some way. Uh, the other thing we'll use to inform it is this randomly generated suggestion. Uh, sorry about the cold, by the way. I didn't. I right. want the segue to get in the way of my sympathy for your cold. But seg back to the segue. Our randomly generated suggestion is hat. H A T hat. Okay. Thanks for coming shopping with me today. You know, I just I needed to get out for a little while. Yeah, you've been cooped up in that house for for weeks, Bobby. Yeah, it's um you know, it, it's it's been tough. It's been a little been a little rough for me the past few weeks, but you know, I think I'm I think I think I'm finally ready to move on. Yeah, I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry about Barbara, by the way. I know you guys I mean I thought you guys were gonna get married, honestly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, you weren't the only one. Yeah, yeah. I guess uh, you were, were know. Were you guys close? I, I mean, is it okay if we talk about this or? No, no, it's okay. Like it's it's you know it's good to get out. It's good to you know just kind of have somebody like to talk about it with just to. Oh, good. Okay. So you know what uh, I mean? Yeah, because that's where you wanted to get out of the house, get away from the. But you're fine. With no, that. no. I mean, you know, that's and that, that, that's why I called you, Doug. I mean, you're kind of the guy I I come to with these things. I mean. I don't mean to bother to like burden you with them, but no, no. I actually really, I'm really curious. Like, what what happened specifically? Oh, jeez. Well, uh, like, you know, did I mean, you mess, did you mess up in some way, or what? Because she's a great lady. She, I mean, honestly, it's been the best the best relationship I've ever had. It seemed like yeah. it from the outside. It really did. It seemed like yeah. I was jealous. I was really jealous. Yeah. No, I mean, you guys it was great. Yeah, we were we were doing really well. I mean, um, so what did you do, man? What did you? How did you mess that up? <laughs> I, uh, you know, you think you know somebody, um, and uh, you get close to them, and it it turns out and she's got she a bit of a violent. Something shitty about you? She found out some shitty thing about you. Well, she found she found out that uh, that you know I I kind of over exaggerated my love of uh, Orange Is the New Black. Oh, um, man, so that was something we like bonded over, I guess, in the beginning. But uh, uh, and she got like, like really mad. She got really mad and like violent. Yeah, so, uh, understandable. Yeah. People take TV shows really personally, you know. I just uh, can't believe you went there, man. It, wow. You know, I mean, it was it was like it was such you a must hate yourself thing. right now. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Wow. Oh, she was like perfect and she amazing. She still is perfect. I mean, you put it in the past tense because you're not with her anymore. But she's no, that's still gone from me forever, probably. That's... Sounds like yeah. Wow. Yeah, definitely forever. Have you thought about? Have you? I mean, I, I, like you already stay in the house. If you, you, I, I don't want to go there. Um, have you thought about like killing yourself? I know. I, I just mean. It was such an amazing relationship. I don't know. I, that's where my mind would go. Yeah. Um, Is this okay? Well, I mean, by the way, that we're talking about this. I don't. Want, I mean, if it's too. Yeah, no, no, it's fine. Like you're the guy that I'm. I'm comfortable. Like I, you're the only person I'll tell this to. It's really okay. Well, um, I mean, basically, you're your only friend at this point. I mean, she was, yeah, well, she was, most of the friends were hers, right? I mean, I'm the only. Yeah, they really. I mean, yeah. you're kind of the only one left. That you're the only one that answered my text messages. So I mean, and I'm so glad. Of course, I did. I'm so curious. I want to know everything. You know, um, how painful. Yeah, I mean, well... Like, what's the lowest point you've had since, it, since she broke your heart? It got really dark. I really, like, about, like, week two, it got right. really dark. I mean... So what's the absolute about, darkest moment? Like, go there now. Take your uh, yeah, Re-experience uh, it if you can in front of me. That'd be perfect. Well, I was, I was just That's crying in the back. Is it okay for you to, to ask you to re-experience? No, yeah, no, it's totally okay. It, it, it's good to get it out. It's good to get it out. Yeah, um, get it out. I feel it's like started. It. Um, I was sitting in the bathtub crying. Yeah, um, that's where a lot of people slip their wrists because, you know, the warm water and you can't feel the... Uh... Yeah, well, on. the thing is, she, she took, the, uh, she took like, all the, the, the knife set with her all when right. she left. Oh, so the old uh, alarm clock, you know, the the radio into the uh, bathtub? Like, like, well, that was hers, too. I was going to try that. She oh, wow. like, I mean, she yeah, took she everything just, from you, man. You're like, you've got nothing now. 
Yeah, I mean, I... It's like your life is pointless without her. Yeah, really. It's it's pretty bad. I mean... I mean you guys were a couple, but it was like... It was more I mean, like, but a, it was like a host than a parasite. Like what? Sorry? I said, yeah, we were a couple, but it was mostly her. Yeah, exactly. Like, I'm, like I'm picturing, like... Like a like a like a mare, like a stallion mare, like a majestic horse, and like a horse fly, like landing on her for a brief time, and then the horse notices, like, what am I doing with a fly on me? Bats it away with her beautiful tail. And that was you. That was you're the horse fly. Wow. That's how I feel, Doug. I definitely feel like definitely feel like a, a fly. Just it must break you up that she's probably out with somebody else right now. I mean, she's so beautiful well, and perfect. I oh can't no, I, I, I know, I know for a fact that um, that she's actually like seeing someone else. Ooh, how does that feel? How does that feel? What does that make you feel like? Um, it's difficult. Be my, yeah, um, use your words. Use your words. How does it like? What's what's it doing to your insides? You know? Uh, it's you know, part of me is like you, you're you're. You know, if you love something, let it go, kind of thing. Where you're like, you're really happy for the person, and then the other part of me yeah, wants the other part. to go back into the bathtub and cry. Yeah, yeah. Doug, you um, you seem to be like really getting um enthused by my. I'm a good my listener. Pain. Everyone says that. I just enthused by your. I don't know if I'm. I mean, it's, I'm here for you. Yeah. Really and, no one else I've, is. I mean, Am uh, I enjoying this? Yes, on some level, just because I'm flattered you're letting me in, you know. Oh, oh, it, it's not. You're not getting like a weird, sort of like, like kind of morbid uh, 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 enjoyment out of just seeing like a friend in pain, right? Because I mean, you seem uh, to be like really. You know, it's love is so complicated. You know, everything surrounding it is so complicated. It's hard to put a label on exactly what I'm experiencing right now. Have you you've been? Could you put a label on what you're experiencing right now? What was that? Could you put a label on what you're experiencing right now? Like, if you had to, like a blanket headline that I could repeat in my head like a mantra as I think about you um, and your suffering. I would have to call it eternal. Existential despair. Oh yeah, bingo. Yeah. Wow. But I mean, I mean, that's just. I don't want to. I don't want to feel like I'm burdening you with my problems. You know. <laughs> I mean, I, you are not. You are not. This is great. I, mean, I wish you guys had broken up a long time ago. This is, you know, this is the most fun I've had. Did you want no. to buy a hat or? Oh. I well, I mean, yeah. There's just something you know to kind of. Make me feel different, you know. I mean, I, I always kind of wanted to be like a, like a, a Stetson guy, like a guy that wears cowboy hats. Hey, might as well now. You're not gonna piss her off. She's long gone, never coming yeah. back. No, she's not. <laughs> she's not coming back. Yeah, say that one more time. Just one more time. Let me listen. Do you say that? <laughs> she's um. Yeah, cry as you said. Yeah, yeah. Um, she's not coming back. Oh, that's perfect. Oh. So glad we're um, friends. So glad we're friends. Yeah. So, blackout. Blackout. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Chris. Uh, been oh, very, very fun. Uh, is there anything that I can uh, plug for you in the description of the video? Um, I uh, I run a podcast with some people that we do. Um, it's called Under the Blanket Fort, like a like a blanket and a fort. Um, it's like a variety show, uh, sketch kind of podcast. We do uh, kind of these weird radio bits and segments, and we sometimes have some uh, guests come on and write some stuff and do some voices for us. And you can find us on uh, iTunes uh, under the blanket for, and we're also on Facebook. We have a page. Great. I'll put uh, links to both of those uh, ways of getting it uh, in the video description. Uh, thank you. Thank, thank you, you so much for doing this, and have a great evening. Thank you. Take care.